Hey, what's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man and welcome back to another voice impression video or voice demo reveal here on my channel. Now yes guys, I'm doing another I guess Thomas Friends fan voice impression video. I don't know how this saying goes, but remember when I did a little PT Boomer voice impression? Yeah, I know there's no background music, but I just want to make it for this occasion. Uh, yeah. So I know my face cam isn't on right now because I'm really trying to get this early as uploaded as I can just to sh see what everyone thinks of my own voice impression of this character I'm going to do as. But yeah, so I think my PT Boomer voice impression went pretty good and all right and all that. But I want to see how everyone thinks of my other voice impression of this character that I'm going to, you know, voice act as. Because before I do start this video, I want to mention something real quick. Throughout the, you know, the years of me loving the show, I guess the Railway series, but mostly the show and the fan videos and all that, like all the characters are my favorite, but my number one, and villains too, but my number one favorite villain would have to be, of course, Diesel 10. You know, the giant 40, class 40 looking Diesel that is a warship. Yeah, you know, all yellow, white stripes, and has a giant claw named Pinchy. So, yeah, I feel like Diesel 10 is like the number one I guess, villain in, like, the show. Okay, like, besides Alfred and all that. But the point still stands, you know? So, for this video, I'm going to be doing my own Diesel 10 voice impression to see what all, to see what you guys think about it and if you like it or not. Because I feel like my own Diesel 10 voice impression is pretty good. And if you guys wonder what I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of trying to make Diesel 10's voice, like, my own voice impression of him sounding like a little, little bit of a, of a Russian accent. Or British, I don't know, where where he said where he has that. I'm thinking of combining, making his accent sound like that, like English, but a little Russian or British. I'm not sure, probably Russian, with like with the side of something like this. I'm trying to make his voice sound a bit a bit like heavy from TF2, where he goes, "Put the Spencer here," and yeah, with Keith Scott. Yeah, so for those that haven't seen the print and Keith Scott's voice. For those that do or do not know, Keith Scott was the, I think, the first, you know, was, was the first voice actor to voice act Diesel 10 in the Magic Railroad, but it was seen in print works and stuff and director's cut, but he, but his voice got later changed to Neil Crone, and honestly, I think Neil Crone's voice pretty is pretty cool and all that, you know, like New Jersey accent or whatever, if he's like a British Diesel or something, I don't know, but yeah. Keith Scott's voice is really cool too. I, I think both of them did great voice impressions of Diesel 10. And yeah, I'm thinking of combining like a mix of Heavy's voice plus Diesel, plus like Keith Scott's Diesel 10 voice impression where I'm signing all Pinchy's hungry. Like that, you know? I'm gonna do that right now. And yeah. So I hope you all enjoy my voice impression of this. Again, I don't know whether... I'm thinking of trying to sound like, you know, probably have his same voice from the Magic Railroad and the CGI series. I'm not sure if I could do both, but I'm going to stick with the Magic Railroad lines for now. I am going to say the Magic Railroad lines, like his quotes and all that, but maybe add a little extra something to it with more humor. I don't know. But anyways, let's do this. I hope you all enjoy my voice impression. Leave a comment down below if you, if you do like it or not. I think I will be good. And yeah, let's do this. Hopefully, we won't get attacked by Pinchy, am I right? Anyways, let go. Greetings, everyone. I am Diesel 10, the greatest Diesel to ever exist on Soldor. Now, y'all may be wondering what I am. Well, I'm a BR Class 42, also known as a warship. I mean, look at me. I'm grand, powerful, and I got my loyal comrade here, Pinchy. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the show. Get out of my way! I have unfinished business here and I want to finish it fast! Move aside, puffballs! I will make this railway great again in my own image! You will be extinct in history, and Diesels will prevail for the glory of Madarasha! Help you? <laughs> That's very funny of you to say that. Because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn-out hunks of metal that always causes confusion and delay, and that couldn't hurt a fly. Yes, you are. R2. R! Now, I've come back to your railway to find the lost steam engine. 
One that you all might or might not know of, but I do. I'm going to destroy her and dominate all of you. And then, when your worthy fat hat will be no more a controller, diesels will prevail on this railway, you'll be nothing but useless scrap, and I will be the king of this railway. Isn't that right, Pinchy? <laughs> Pinchy, you know, you captured the real me. Like, th like that's beautiful right there. I know, talking in my normal voice, but I could cry. <clears throat> All right, listen up, you two. Uh, hello, comrades. Great to see you here. Now listen up. I, uh, I got a job for you, Splodge. I know your names are Splatter and Dodge, but I don't care whether I say both your names or not. I don't have time for that. So it's better if I combine your names. Got it? Good. Now, what news do you have for me? I see. Well, you probably know why I'm back here, right? I've come back to this railway to find a steam engine. Not the ones here that I want. I'm after her. That's right, the one from years ago. She escaped me once before. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed, then victory will be ours. Yeah, I said destroyed, so what? I can do whatever I want. I'll get him too. <laughs> With Pinchy. <laughs> Ouch, Pinchy. What did I tell you about doing that? Things are gonna change around here, puffballs. But first, to take care of business of my own. Alright, Pinchy, my loyal comrade, do your stuff. Timber! For! <laughs> Hello there, Twinkle Toes. Interesting to see you here after all this time, hasn't it? Well, I want to let you know that I got a plan, and you're not in it. <laughs> Losing your sparkle, huh? What perfect time. Now tell me, where is that lost engine? No matter. I got you right where I want you. <laughs> and you're not... What, and you're not clever enough to stop me. No, you're not. Are not. Aren't. And even if you were, what could you possibly do to stop me? Oh, is that... No. Oh, fine. Make the most of tonight, Twinkle Toes. Because you won't like tomorrow. And neither will all of you, you line of tin caddles. Ugh. Shut up, Pinchy. <laughs> this is a very good spot to hide on them. I've been working on the railway for Russia. <laughs> now, who wants to work a live long day anyway, am I right, Pinchy? Ah, comrades, come in, come in and join the party, Splodge. Correction. Join the party that's over. <laughs> Just like Twinkle Toes Magic Railway is gonna be over. What I'm trying to say is that I was up at Napford Station a while ago, and I overheard what those puffballs were saying, and it turns out my predicament was right. The Magic Railway still does exist, from what I remember years ago. And they will be gone. Destroyed. Destroy, Splodge, destroy! <laughs> so what? We're villains. We're supposed to destroy. They will be gone, like the lost engine and the buffers that lead to her. It's time that I find Twinkle Toes again and make him talk. If not, I will put his lights out. This is a job. For the boss of Mother Russia. <laughs> it's the old teapot and the old iron. Pinchy, smash them. No, don't push that over. Oh, Pinchy, get back up here. Pinchy, you are in big trouble when I'm done with you, you hear? Get down from there. Pinchy! I always mean what I do, whether Pinchy has a mind of his own or not. 
you stupid, idiotic rattle traps. Ugh. Hello there, Twinkle Toes. Remember me? Fat Hat won't have much use for you looking like that when I'm done with you. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Forgot to bring the sugar? Well, how careless of you. Say hello to Pinchy. He wants to give you a ride with free hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, Twinkle Toes, let's get down to business. Now, I know about the buffers. And I know about the magic railway. And when I find that lost engine, or that engine, you and all those puffballs, even that worthy fat hat, Lord Fat Hat to be precise, will be history. So tell me where the buffers are, and I'll let you live. In other words, I have one question that you might be able to answer. Where are the buffers? Silence! I do not care about this stupid bridge. I want answers. Tell me where the buffers are, now! You got ten seconds before I drop you. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on! Grrr. Oh, that, uh, well, you see, Splodge, I, I didn't do it on purpose. Like, it was an accident. I'm, I'm sure it was an accident because he tricked me. Yeah, he tricked me. He had these pliers in his pockets, and I had them in my hands, in my grasp, to, to be precise, since I don't have hands, but I had them in my hands, no pun intended, and, uh, yeah, I was about to throw him, but when he cut one of Pinchy's tubes, and he threw him, like, he escaped, on purpose, not, not like accident or something. Or, all right, playtime's over, Splodge. Now it's time for the next lesson, huh? I call it, how to stop being stupid. Oh, oh crap, oh not again, oh come on, ah, da yo star. Oh, now that's gonna ruin my facial, all. Oh. Aha, Twinkle Toes Jr. Surprised to see you here, isn't it? You won't be doing any surfing up here when Pinchy's done with you, Mr. Kahuna. Hang on tight, Irish Moon Doggy. It's the end of the line for you, Twinkle Toes Junior. Aha! So you lost your sparkle too, huh? <laughs> Farewell, Twinkle Toes Junior, and you as well, Rusty Red Scrap Iron. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Back a little more. <laughs> you puffballs thought you could defeat me. You're nothing, you hear me? You had your time and chance, but the age of steam is gone. We diesels always prevail for victory and future. There is no room for your kind anymore. That... That's calling the kettle green, coming from a giant strawberry. And it starts like this, that honk progression. You puffballs had your time, but you're nothing, nothing, you hear me? Because when I'm done with you, my old friend P.T. Boomer and I will destroy her, all of you, and everyone and everything else under my command and his as well, but mostly mine. Now then, back to business. Are you ready, kids? Oh, come on! They got away again. Or what the? Aha! I see you over there, Puffball. And you as well, Twinkle Toes. Even everyone else. I'm gonna get you, Little Miss Magic. 
It's been a long time, hasn't it? I'm gonna destroy you all. You'll never escape from me. Splodge, get up here and destroy! Ha, who needs you, Splodge? Now I'll get you, M Little Miss Magic. Or Lady, yeah, now I'll get you, Lady. And you as well, Thomas. You can run, but you can't hide. Right, Pinchy? <laughs> Pinchy's hungry. Here I come, Puffball. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. And run, cowards. <laughs> Look out below, duck comrades. <laughs> <laughs> I like my lunch steamed. <laughs> oh, that joke sounded terrible. Uh, anyways, I'll get you, you useless blue puffball. Ugh, pretty fast for a bunch of slow puffballs. Oh crap, what's going on? Hey, how this happen? I wasn't on this track. Oh, I. Oh, God. Puffball. Teapot. Die, Tin Cuddle. Ah. Oh, it's disgusting here. Ugh. Oh, well. Nice time of the year for a cruise. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. Well, this is my, the end of my defeat. Dos Vadania, everyone. Oh boy, I'm definitely going to need some water after that, because that was kind of fun, actually. I know it's like my normal voice and all that, but it's okay if some, you know, YouTubers talk with, do, like, character accents with their normal voice and all that, right? I was trying to do mine, like, a mix of Heavy's voice from TF2 and Keith Scott's Diesel 10 voice from the original cut print works and stuff, because, you know, why not? And yep, that's it, everyone. That's my Diesel 10 voice impression of him sounding all Russia, kind of like. <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed because I thought it was pretty fun to do, to be honest, because I like voicing as Diesel 10, to be honest. Not as much as I like to voice all, all my other favorite characters, but he's still one of my favorite villains, to be honest, voicing as him. I know there might not be some, you know, YouTubers in need for a voice actor like me, because <clears throat> I know Bad Rider and Andrew asked me the question, have you ever been in a Thomas video before? And to be honest, I haven't really, but I would like to try it out sometime if I ever do get a chance to. Like, I know it might be kind of impossible to ask or something, because I know there are those that don't know me yet, but somehow I do know them for, like, a long time. Or not somehow, excuse me, I said that. And yeah. <clears throat> but then again, it is kind of voice to voice act Diesel 10. Although people should really... Uh, although I, I feel like Pinchy should have a voice too, you know, because... If, if Diesel 10's claw is somehow, air quote, alive, then maybe it's possible for Pinchy to have a voice as well. I know he did in that redub by, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Major Engine Studios. Anyways, I'm gonna have to end this here. So thank you all so much for watching this voice impression video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment down below if you thought this, if you thought my Diesel 10 voice was pretty good because I try my best to do it. And yeah, thanks again. I, if there's anyone in need looking for me to voice act any of the characters with my normal voice, but with the try a bit of a slight accent, then let me know in the comments below, because I'll definitely be up to it. If there's nothing right now, then that's fine. But then again, if it ever does, does or doesn't happen. But yeah, thanks again. I'm Dan the Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye. -bye. Bye.